Hey, what's up, YouTube? Rules for Rebels here. Hope you guys are all having a good morning. So today what I wanted to talk about is just a quick introduction to Amazon PPC. Uh, this video is going to be fairly short because, quite frankly, there's really not that much to talk about. It's really not that complicated. So unlike Google AdWords uh, or even Facebook ads, where you really have to think about how you're targeting your customers, what keywords you're going after, etc., uh, Amazon PPC is literally just pick a daily budget. So, you know, okay, I want to spend $5 a day then you're going to click how much you're willing to, to pay per click. It could be a quarter, it could be 75 cents, it could be $2. And pretty much you, and then from that point, you just select what products you want to promote. And at that point, you're pretty much up and running. Now, that's a lot different than, let, let's say Facebook ads, for example. It's really going to be critical what photo or what picture we decide to use in our Facebook ad. It's really going to be critical what countries we target. It's going to be critical what age groups we target. And it's going to be critical, especially, um, what interests we target. So if I'm selling a pineapple slicer, am I just going to go after customers who have expressed an interest in pineapples? Well, no, I probably also want to go after like chefs. I probably want to go after people who are into like, uh, you know, healthy eating and natural food and, you know, maybe people who are into exercising because pineapples are, are healthy, right? Um, so there's a lot of groups outside of just pineapples who I can appeal to. But at the same time, if I take it out too wide, um, I'm probably going to be you know, paying to drive traffic to my site who's not going to convert or who's not going to buy a pineapple slicer. Um, if we think about uh, Google AdWords, we have to select the keywords we want to target. Um, if we wanted to use placement targeting, we can select which particular websites we want our ads to appear on. Um, we can choose to do retargeting, which is if you ever search for a lawn chair or something like that, and you've noticed no matter what website you go to for the rest of the day, you're being presented pictures or ads for lawn chairs, uh, that's called retargeting. And once you've expressed interest in it, Everywhere you go on the internet, uh, Google AdWords is going to continue to retarget that product that you were searching for or showed some interest in to you. Um, also with AdWords, we have something called negative keywords. So let's say, um, I'm trying to think of a good example here. Uh, let's say I'm selling, I'm trying to do affiliate marketing to a Bitcoin exchange where people go buy Bitcoins and I earn a cut of whatever they buy in Bitcoins. Now, somebody who's just looking at the Bitcoin price, um, I may use Bitcoin, I use, may use the word price as a negative keyword. So somebody who searches the term buy Bitcoins, I want to pay for their click because they're trying to buy Bitcoins. And if they, you know, move forward and go buy Bitcoins, I'm going to get a cut of their purchase. However, if I were targeting a word like Bitcoin price, what's going to happen is somebody like me who's just like, hey, I wonder what Bitcoin's trading at today. I'm going to go Google Bitcoin price. I may wind up clicking on an ad of somebody who's trying to, trying to drive me to an affiliate website. However, I have no intention of buying Bitcoins. I just want to know the price. So in that sense, that click that I used up by clicking and going forward to that website is a wasted click because the person who paid for, who's running the advertisement probably paid $2 to get me to click over. And I never had any intention of buying Bitcoins from the site. I just wanted to go check out the price. So that's what we talk about when we talk about negative keywords. But uh, Amazon pay-per-click is, like I said, really straightforward. So <clears throat> without further ado, I'm just going to pause this and take you guys over to the page where you can see what the uh, Amazon pay-per-click uh, reporting basically looks like. Okay, so right now we are over in Seller Central. So um, if we were to go up to Advertising, we would click Campaign Manager. That would take us to this campaign. If we wanted to create a new campaign, we would click Create a New Campaign, and we would be prompted to decide how much we want to spend per day, how much we want to spend per click, what product we want to advertise. But we're looking at a campaign that's already running. So because this is green, it tells us it's already running. If I wanted to stop this campaign, I could stop this campaign. Um, here's the name of the campaign. It's called Parts. Uh, the campaign status is running. Uh, the targeting is automatic, so you can manually target. I, I personally don't do it, um, and that's where things get a little bit more complicated, but I really don't think it's necessary to manually uh, target. Uh, the start date was 10-17, which was a few days ago. The end date is 24. Uh, I'm paying $5 per day, and quite frankly, I should have looked at this before. I don't remember what I'm paying per click. I believe I'm willing to pay a dollar per click. Um, so in the past, let's see, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. So in the past four days I've been running this campaign, I have spent $19.17. Uh, it has only brought me back $16 in sales. So this is actually bad because I'm spending $19 and it's only making me, I shouldn't even say it's making me $16. I'm spending $19 and I'm selling $16 worth. Now, obviously the $16 is not all profit. There's Amazon seller fees. If the items are being sold via Amazon FBA, there's also Amazon FBA fulfillment fees. And then obviously there's the cost of the actual product. So let's say just for example, I sold an item that cost $16. 
now, or let's say I sold an item for $16, that item cost me $10. So there's only $6 of profit left here. Now also out of that $6 of profit, we have to take 15% of $16 um, for Amazon fees, potentially an FBA fee. Um, so really, it's very possible that I spent $19 and I really only wind up making $2. Um, but at the very least, what you really want to be happening is you want to spend $19 and make $40. And if you can actually figure out whether it's Facebook ads, AdWords, anything, the real, if you really break it down to its most simplest form, uh, pay-per-click advertising is essentially trying to spend $1 and make $2. And if you can kind of figure out the magic formula, whether it be the demographic to target, the product to sell, um, the keywords to, to use, the interest to target, if I can, if I can figure out how to spend $2 in advertising and bring back $4 in profit, well, you know, at that point, you just scale it up. So, okay, if I can spend two and make four, why don't I spend 10 and make 20? If I can spend 10 and make 20, why don't I spend 20 and make 40? If I can spend 20 and make 40, why don't I spend 40 and make 80? And as long as things keep working, um, you can continue uh, scaling it up. And essentially, the more money you spend, you more, the more money you make. Now, like I said, this is like PPC at its most basic form. Um, it's not that easy. There's a lot more that goes into it in terms of you know, keywords you're going to target, groups you're going to target, products you're going to sell, et cetera. But once you really get things dialed in, um, you know, it really is as simple as the more you spend, the more you make up until a certain point. At some point, you know, as you spend more, you may not make more. But that's that's the ultimate idea here. A couple other quick things I wanted to touch on. Um, for those of you guys who have new Amazon products, it's not always necessarily good to start a campaign right off the bat. And here's why. If you're paying a dollar per click to get somebody to go look at your Amazon product, um, if your product has no reviews, the customer is not very likely to buy it. So you may have to spend $30 to get one person to buy your product. Now I'll give you another example. Let's say your product has 20 reviews. At this point, maybe every eight people that you drive to your product page are gonna buy as opposed to every 30. So you're only paying $8 to get a sale as opposed to paying $30 to get a sale. So why am I saying don't run uh, Amazon PPC when you first launch your product? Because if you don't have any reviews, your conversion rate is gonna be very low. So we'll say with no reviews, only 2% of people who land on your Amazon page are gonna buy. Once you have 16 reviews, the percentage of, you know, when somebody lands on your Amazon page, 37% uh, of them are gonna buy. So in, to some extent, you're throwing money away um, by running Amazon PPC ads to your product before you have 16 reviews. And here's an interesting stat that Amazon gives us. So Amazon says that uh, the magic number of reviews for conversions is 16. So what do they mean by this? What Amazon means is if you have 16 reviews and a customer lands on your page, they are just as likely to buy your product as if you had 160 reviews and they land on your page. So basically Amazon says once somebody lands on your page, you know, once you have 16 reviews, um, you're going to convert just as well as if you had two or three times those reviews. So I just want to stress and kind of clarify that I'm not saying having more reviews is not better. Absolutely having more reviews is more better. The more reviews you have, um, the higher you're going to rank in Amazon search, uh, the more Amazon is going to suggest your product, et cetera. But strictly from a conversion standpoint, when somebody lands on your page, are they going to buy the product or not? Once you have 16 reviews, you're just as likely to convert as if you had 10 times that amount of reviews on your product. Um, so for those of you guys who are launching a new Amazon product, if you don't mind kind of throwing some money out there that you're not necessarily going to get a return on, basically for the, uh, you know, essentially it's like brand awareness. You know, a lot of times when, when Coke runs an ad on TV, they don't actually expect you to run out and go buy a can of Coke at the store. Uh, what they're doing is kind of keeping the, the Coke brand in your in your mind or in your head. So they really don't care if it converts. They just want to keep Coke in the back of your mind. Now, that's what I would compare uh, running Amazon PPC to a new product. You're kind of getting some brand awareness out there. You're getting people to see your product to land on your page, uh, but you're probably not going to convert very well. So that's why I recommend in the past, I would say, give away free products in exchange for reviews until you can get up to 16 or 20 reviews and at that point start running the Amazon uh, PPC campaigns. Now obviously as of October 3rd, we had the change in Amazon policy where we can no longer give away free products in exchange for reviews. Now you can, however, still give away free products and or discounted products. It just can't be with the expectation of a review. So whereas in the past, if I gave away 20 free products, I'm pretty much gonna get 20 reviews because the, um, 
the review exchange sites basically would hold people accountable to leave reviews. And if you're getting free products and not leaving reviews, they're going to kick you off the site, or at the very least, Amazon sellers can see that and they're not going to continue giving you free products. Now, with the changes, you can give away free products. There's no longer an expectation that the buyer leave a review. So you may give out 20 free products and only get 10 reviews back if half the people don't follow up and actually leave a review. Um, but that's the new rules, and if you want to do it, that's just kind of how you got to play the game. Um, so you could still give away free products. Um, you could discount products and have a landing page or something like that. You could contact some bloggers or some influencers and give products out to them to feature on their channel and hope to drive some organic sales and some organic reviews. But basically my point is try to get to 16 reviews before you start running Amazon PPC. Uh, or if you want to run Amazon PPC right off the bat, I actually do do that sometimes. Uh, but I do it with the mindset that I know it's really not going to convert that well. And I really don't care if I'm kind of throwing money away because it's just kind of building up my brand. But if you're kind of starting with a shoestring budget and you don't really have money to kind of throw down a brain, uh, down a brain, down a drain just for brand awareness, I would suggest uh, getting your reviews up to 16 reviews before you start running Amazon PPC. Uh, I'm going to pause the video really quickly. I just want to show you guys one quick example of Amazon PPC so you can kind of see like where are your ads going to be running basically. Okay, so I'm back with you guys. So I just said I just wanted to kind of show you guys where your Amazon PPC ads are going to be running, right? So uh, I just did a, a search on Amazon for Bitcoin miner. We went into uh, this particular listing for an Avalon 6 Bitcoin miner 3.5, what is that, terahertz or something like that, um, hash rate, power efficiency, etc. So if we scroll down here, first we're going to see customers who viewed this product also viewed, and we're going to see other uh, kind of suggested products that people who were interested in this were also interested in these products. Now, this is organic uh, results here. However, if we scroll down just below that, we're going to see sponsored results. Uh, so basically sponsored results, these people are all paying to be shown on this page as suggested items. So if I go to, you know, hey, I'm thinking about buying an Avalon miner. You know, typically I will also look at the uh, customers who viewed this. And I think a lot of people don't even look here to see that it's sponsored. They just kind of look at related products. And we can see a lot of other Bitcoin miners and hard, <laughs> excuse me, and hardware wallets and things like that. So uh, basically, you're, this is very targeted. Uh, someone who's interested in a Bitcoin miner may be interested in a hardware wallet. Uh, or here's some other examples of Bitcoin miners. So this product is a little bit more unrelated. Uh, but again, somebody who's mining their coins may want a hardware wallet to keep it on. Um, but you know, we can kind of scroll through here and see other uh, suggest, or I'm sorry, not suggested. We can see other similar related products that people are paying to have featured on this page. So this is basically one of the places where your Amazon PPC ads are going to show up. Um, so if somebody, if somebody's selling uh, a hammock, for example, and you sell one of those uh, straps that allow you to hook a hammock up to a tree, you may want to feature it under the sponsored products because if I'm shopping for a hammock, I'm probably going to need something to hang it with as well. And after I buy this hammock, uh, I may come down here and buy your hammock tree strap as well. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to kind of wrap up the video here. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, or first off, I wanted to kind of introduce you guys to Amazon PPC. Uh, this video wound up running a little bit longer than I had planned, and I know I have a tendency to ramble, guys. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick intro to Amazon PPC. wanted to show you what the reporting looks like. And I also wanted to show you where your ads are going to appear. So I know a lot of you guys out there are like thinking about rolling out your first Amazon product or are contemplating selling on Amazon. You probably hear things thrown out there like Amazon PPC and everything else. And you really have no idea of like, what's it going to cost? What does it look like? How do I set it up? How difficult is it, et cetera? So I just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough of that, uh, tell you what it is, show you where the ads appear. Um, if you guys have any questions about Amazon PPC, how effective it is, what types of products it works best for, um, excuse me, et cetera, feel free to drop a comment below. For any of you guys who use Amazon PPC, please drop a comment below. Let me know what your experience is, what your results are. Do you find it effective? You know, are, are you spending $20 to drive $50 worth of sales? Or are you spending $50 to drive $5 worth of sales? Is it working for you or not, et cetera? Uh, so please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you learned something, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button below. Uh, check back for, uh, for more videos. we got some great stuff coming out in the next week or two here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.